All right, Momo day one, we're in the courtyard. I'm in kind of Luffy. We have Bash, we have Luffy, we have Wolfwood, and we're just chilling. Um, I'm going to the Witch Hat meetup with AJ at 5.30. I'm so excited, but I realized I hadn't talked to you this entire vlog, so I thought I would, but bye guys. Oh, you're blocked. There we go. <laughs> so this is my bunny Quiffy cosplay for the witch hat meetup it is my favorite manga and i was so excited to meet fellow fans and these just like really talented cosplayers that were inspiring me to start my sewing journey in cosplay um as you can see the costumes were absolutely amazing so much thought and effort went into it and we had a really great time just meeting with each other talking about our manga and making jokes out of the brush bugs that were accompanying us my friends ended up joining us for the picnic that we held afterwards and the organization was just amazing. Such great food and handmade goodies. We were still a bit hungry after the picnic, so we went to Hooters for some wings and drinks. Then we walked to a local liquor store just to pick a few things up because we had just heard that, you know, the courtyard was getting shut down a lot and, you know, other things were happening. So we decided to invite our friends back to our room just for some chill fun. So sadly, I wasn't able to attend all four days of Momo, but this is Sunday. The clouds were beautiful. The weather was amazing. It was just the perfect day this is our friend Riddy that ended up joining us and i kind of wish i would have brought my yuri on ice jersey to match with them um this is the tabletop gaming area i thought it was a great addition to the con i'm trying to get into tabletop games myself and you just really don't see such a large area at cons and then this is the game room i really want to spend a few hours in this next year everyone seemed like they were having so much fun and i just love arcade games and i think this is one of my favorite parts of cons is the game rooms and just watching people have fun I saw a Deep Space Nine blanket, which is my favorite Star Trek I never see merch for, and I was just really excited to see. And then they had about four lanes of cars, custom-made cars that featured anime characters, you know, anime movies, etc. And I wanted to show off these too because I thought they were super cool. And just look at the detail in all the figures. I talked to the people at the Awa table, which made me even more excited to attend the con in October, and I think you should too. I honestly want to save more money next year for this con because I just really wanted to buy everything. I might have to bring an extra suitcase next year. We bought a lot from this stand because the girl who runs it and her dad were just super sweet. She is super creative and I just really am excited to own things from her collection and buy more in the future. We ended up changing our entire outfits because as you can see we were just really excited to wear these and she was awesome and we had a good time. I'm a simple person. If I see Cowboy Bebop merch, I buy it. I actually saw the same stand at Fanex with Philly the next weekend. And then this is Plant Face, one of my amazing talented mutuals. I had to pick up the Pochita earrings and I was happy. They also had wrestling, which it was kind of loud, but it was a really cool addition to a con. I, you know, grew up on wrestling. And before we knew it, it was over. I'm definitely attending all four days next year. We had to treat ourselves with some fried pickles for spending so much money. And then we spent a little bit of time at the pool right before it closed. Our hotel was just absolutely gorgeous. They actually filmed Loki here, so if you recognize like this kind of like layered section from Loki, yeah, that was where they filmed it. It's the Atlanta Marriott. We ended up going on a little late night snack run and then spent the rest of the day at the pool. Just seriously, look at this. You know, it had indoor outdoor area, a hot tub, and yeah, we got Starbucks and just kind of spent the day relaxing, chatting, playing around in the pool. And then I had to leave. I was so sad to leave my friends. This con was just such a great reset for me after having a kind of difficult past few months. But yeah, I did not want to leave them. But, you know, it happens. And we made it to the airport. And that was MomoCon.